students welcome to the session of civil engineering societal and global impacts till now we have discussed all the recent breakthroughs in civil engineering so you have seen that what are the technologies used in civil engineering field what are the new breakthroughs right so in this session we are going to see about the future trends in construction technologies which are the new trends coming up in the construction field and what are the factors and aspect affecting a lot in construction field let us see further that what are the futuristic trends which are coming up right now and which are into the trend very much to see our future construction field first of all we have discussed about the prefabricated construction what is prefabricated construction yes you can relate this with what modular construction prefabricated constructions are the type of constructions which are used and been produced in the godowns and that can be just simply modified towards the site and can be fitted according to the what shape and size required yes this technology is right now evolving in india we are not much into the sector but yes in a small sector we are using if i want to make a partition wall if i want to make a small walls in the garden walls then prefabricated are used in the construction field but day by day we are going much more detailed into the prefabrication things because that will save the time and we can complete the project before time and hence development can be done towards using this technology that is the prefabrication construction work now moving further you have heard about the green construction means the sustainability you all have seen that much more green constructions that is the green construction coming up sustainable constructions are coming up that means we have to store the energy which is already been discussed in the recent breakthroughs that is the kinematic kinetic roads kinematic pavements kinetic footfalls right that all are is what is constru conducted under the green construction so we can maintain even the temperature we can also so have the good aesthetic view but all with the reference of sustainability which is green construction now we are going much detail into the bim and micro apartments let's say what is bim micro apartments in detail in further this session only and lastly we have the skyscrapers and what are the air pollution under control should be kept for the construction field if we are doing or if we are using any type of construction technologies air pollution need to be controlled very much right so now let us discuss much further into the indian future construction industries first of all we are going to see about the prefabricated construction and green construction which is already been discussed that a components are assembled then b and micro apartment yes let's see it is in detail that are making the presence of slow felt and recent time usage of skyscrapers means these are the building information modeling we can model something we can monitor that thing through the software and we can do the analysis of it and what is micro apartments right now people are preferring much of the micro apartments it are the small size living apartments which are very comfortable for the day to day usage of the people who are working right so you can see here the trends of living in tiny spaces developed in urban cities right that is affordable homes and even the normal people can use that but it is developed in urban city that is why it is named as micro apartments right and last is air pollution and skyscrapers right this is the detailed description which i have given to you which is already been i have explained now let us discuss about what is concrete 3d printing we are going to see a new technology which is coming up which is known as concrete 3d printing student this is very important topic and helpful in the construction field let us see what are the usage what are the advantages what are the disadvantages here three dimensional printing is a manufacturing process that builds layer to create three dimensional solid object means 3d printing you all have heard 3d printing that means the model is generated through the software as per your requirements and that is what is you are replicating on the site which is known as concrete 3d printing in this the concept of prefabrication the concept of modular all are clubbed together in this 3d print 3d printing means with the help of software you are creating some designs and with that designs you are making some models 
yes 3d printing will be helpful when we are going to use the modular things and prefabricated things because with that system only we can produce exact size of walls or beams or columns as per our requirement with the concreting that does not have any mistakes right you can see right now if there is a, a pillar made and concreting has been done if there is any of the disturbance created into that if concreting is not proper if beam is not straight if beam is not in the uh, alignment then what we do we do the reconcreting towards it means we will demolish that and we will do the concreting again but in concrete 3d printing this way not happen so much more of our construction material will be reduced and wastage is actually reduced right now see let's see what are the advantages actually it is high end technology based job people should be knowing the software related to the 3d right and then towards that we are going to design the buildings and all right now people are designing building people are doing the structural calculations and all but if people are moving into the 3d printing then we can have much more advancement in the construction field now you might think that how can it be applicable and when will we are going to use these things actually student now look at the slide background slide which i have shown you can see people are coming more and more in india i have shown here the indian map and people are running towards it what is that population is increasing and in which sector people are going to go you might have heard our gdp is increased by the infrastructural facilities only right so these are the things why i have made this slide because you can see that people are moving more towards means population is increasing and we need to do the advancement in our field and the gdp highest is on by infrastructural facility that is why these advancements are coming up into the civil fields only so you have to be much more aware of the technologies which are coming up you, to, you should be much more aware of the softwares which are coming up right so reduction of construction cost by eliminating form work yes you all know the form works right the form works which we are using during the construction period can be reduced and that cost a lot lot towards the construction site right so that will be reduced cost of printing construction element of house is much lower than the traditional construction method yes material will be not wasted what is exact size required can be printed can be made because that is always been done with the technologies ne uh, reduce the need of heavy construction machinery which is almost required on the site can be reduced actually wet construction processes are minimized yes water cement ratio and watering of the process will be minimized so this is what is we can use in the construction uh, of uh, technologies which are 3d printing there is a increase in uh, architectural freedom people can design as and when is required what is your requirement client requirement can be easily done towards using this software now let us see to the new technology which is known as building information modeling what is bim you might have heard this this is basically a software which monitors your whole site but which monitors in some phases right and that monitors according to what is your requirement so bim is a process to create and manage computer based digital drawings and details of all structural decision for entire life cycle of project right now you have heard that if i am constructing any building i have the responsibility of its maintenance even after 5 years also how can i do that if i have any type of advancement then can only be possible so this is bim which is known as building information modeling this is basically a automation of any work which we are carrying out on a paper for the construction right starting from the drawings which we are doing on the drawing the site samples which we are taking everything can be done to by using this bim through the bim it includes data attributes and parametric rules for each object right what is this data attributes what type of thing i am constructing if i am constructing a wall i would be mentioning each and every data attributes towards it attributes means the characteristics of it so if a wall is constructed i will be using that wall is painted with this color wall is having this much cement wall is having this much sand every detail will be written into it so in future it will be helpful to me i am just giving you an example of wall it is not wall which is constructed to the bim we are doing the whole construction process with the bim software 
right? It specially allows the data to capture they create during the process to benefit operations and maintenance activity. Right. What you are constructing is being captured through the software. We are taking the photographs, we will be taking the survey of the word construction and that will be helpful in the future maintenance. Right. So various uses of BIM will be from the planning, designing, build and operate. This is very important. You have to remember this. What are the various uses of BIM? It can be used during the planning stage, designing stage, building stage and operation stage. So this can be used for the conceptual when you are designing BIM can give you many more ready data and you can do the analysis of it. And lastly, we are going to see the benefits of BIM project coordination and collaboration with the stakeholders workflow 3D views. Yes, these are helpful. You all know that virtual reality is right now coming up. Augmented realities are right now coming up. Yes, people need to have the feel of what they are going to purchase actually. So this is the much more trend coming up in the construction field that we are going to have the 3D visualization. We are now into the 3D, then we are going to have the virtual reality. If you have seen any of the advertisement of any site, you might have seen that they have that virtual reality. People is moving inside and you will be having that feel. Even the videos are made, made actually like that, that people can feel the inside atmosphere of home or of site or commercial site what you are going to buy so these are the concepts which are coming up into the day-to-day -day trends for the construction field concrete 3d printing and bim is important student now let us see the bim modeling softwares which are the softwares actually you might have heard this name that is revive which is beam 360 autocad civil 3d beam 360 designs these are the softwares which are used for the different different elements of construction of our field right update the floor plans automatically revit is used to update the floor plans it is consistent and coordinate beam 360 unified platform connecting your project teams and data in real time real time data is very much required and that beam 360 can do similarly beam 360 design is collaborative software real time revit cloud working yes right now cloud technology is coming up so much more data can be stored on the cloud similarly you have autocad and civil 3d these are the infrastructural design softwares autodesk 3d civil engineering software beam actually there's another club software revite and autocad you might have heard beam 360 is new beam 360 design is new for the different elements and similarly the civil 3d right even you can add here with the design of much more automation is the gis what is gis we are going to see in detail also now, automization in construction is very much required as we have discussed earlier. These are the theories which are there in your this module. That is why I am discussing the main main points of the theories. Automization, it can be defined appropriate use of machines and electronic devices and computer software. Then only we can do the automization. I make you clear here through this module or through this subject, you can see that how much is the software and IT business uh, uh, which we are discussing is the automization. This is all been done by civil engineers only, right? So increase of productivity of construction projects. Similarly, it will improve the quality of work. Actually, productivity will be higher. Safety of labors will be more. Even the manual working will be less and the automated work will be more. These are the advantages. Now we have two types of automation. First is at site level and second is at industrial level. Advantages is higher safety as we have discussed uniform quality and higher accuracy. What we are going to have actually increasing productivity and work efficiency. Yes, we have the disadvantages in the automation field also. What is that? Unemployment to the laborers who are working actually, right? Leads to the drain from the country right yes we are going to lose some resource from our country high requirement of capital cost all requires a high capital cost right now let's see obstacles and applications of mega trends shaping the construction futures what are that that is high cost limited resources will be available what are the application what are the obstacles coming up automation technologies are actually expensive yes we all know that india is not much more into it if we want to have any automation we are doing the years of years pre-planning and then we are moving to the automation right similarly applications are being cast robotics in concrete this all are going to come in the future trends but stage by stage right now we are into the prefabrication modular then we are going to come into the robotics right machinery work will also be done by the automation but how that requires knowledge and technology to do 
so my more emphasizes is much more into what you are seeing and learning throughout this module learn and imagine and think what optimization you can do towards the field of your choice in the field of civil engineering if you are choosing that you are you want to be into your structure much more you want to be in the construction project management think right at this moment that what optimization you can think on to it search use the google in a such a way that you get so much of ideas and yes you are the one that you can get the ideas right so especially this is more emphasizes into what are the mega trends shaping the construction indian future mega trends shaping the construction industry future that is market and customer sustainability resilience society and workforce quality and regulations why i am telling you this because this is much more required people should accept this customers should buy this customers should agree this when you are spending such a money in optimization then your cost will be also high because you need to gain the capital cost from what you have done the work so how can you do that society should accept that right so with the minimal type you need to have your profit you need to be into the gdp increment you need to be that you are pro into it so you have to think much more on the research side so these are the application mega trends shaping the future construction field so till now we have discussed the optimization the application what are the applications how it can be done what are the trends right you have to remember this all i have shown in the slide all the main points of the theories you can refer towards it i hope i am giving a good example that you can make it out what i mean towards this module and towards this theory thank you